Hey gang, welcome in. A real quick video pertaining to CalTopo. Just about uh, probably two weeks ago, they came out with a feature called 3D. And what you're looking at on your screen is the 3D in CalTopo. Let me pan around a little bit so that you can see. Very, very easy to use and it gives you a different perspective to view if you're planning a route, planning a camping trip, wanting to look at the terrain. Before we get in on how to uh, implement it and get it started, let's take a look at some of what CalTopo says. So CalTopo says this is free to everyone to try. Starting January the 1st, 2025, this feature will only be exclusively to the Pro and Desktop. If we take a look at the Pro and Desktop, Pro is $50 a year, guys. That's what I have. Desktop is $100, unless you're heavily into maps, uh, GIS tools, and that kind of stuff. The $50 a year will, will serve you very, very well. This is also available to, I think they said it was for, uh, yeah, team subscribers as well. So if you're pro desktop or team subscriber, uh, it'll be available to you. If you're using the free version, you need to upgrade to the pro version at least. Again, $50 a year. Now, one feature that is available that is quite interesting to me is that whenever you download your maps for offline use, which everyone should, if you're operating, you need to download your maps. You can also now download with the 3D data available as well. So if cell data goes down, you'll still have access to that 3D data out in the woods. That is fantastic. So again, pro version, desktop version, pro version, $50 a year. That's how, what I would highly recommend. So let's get started with the map. I'm logged in. You can see my name up here in the top right. Tells me I'm logged in. I just have a blank map uh, open up right now. I have Map Builder Topo as the base layer. This is centered on the Red River Gorge. If you're familiar with that area, this is Indian uh, Staircase. This is Frog Heads, uh, Frog's Head up in this area. And Bison Parking Lot right down here. The Glady Center is right there as well. Just a common area. So that if you're familiar with the area, you can take a look, see what it's like. If I wanted to implement... 3D effect on this particular map over here on the left side there is a 3D button all you have to do is click it it highlights in red and you can tell that it's activated if I want to zoom in I'm on my desktop so I can use my mouse I can scroll in and I can scroll out if I scroll in if I want to I can drag the map just like any other map layer. But if I wanted to turn the map, I can hold down my control button, click my mouse, hold it and rotate. If I go up and down, it changes the pitch. If I go left and right, it will turn the map. As I turn the map in the right hand corner, you can see that the north arrow turns with it. So you can always uh, know where north is relatively quick by referencing that. If I wanted to bring in different layers, let's say that I want to bring in LiDAR, which I absolutely love. I'm going to turn the opacity, I'll turn the opacity all the way up and then we'll back it back down. So just to give you an idea of what LiDAR looks in 3D, I'm going to turn it all the way down and then turn it all the way back up. Again, I'll rotate here so that you can kind of see how everything looks. You can zoom in and out. Hold down the control, uh, control button, click your mouse and hold and rotate. If you wanted to bring your trails back in, you could bring the opacity back down and you can start seeing the trails. Zoom in. gives you some really really good visuals of the land in the layout if I wanted to get rid of the 3d I just come over here to the left side uncheck that icon and now it just goes back to the aerial 
And at this point, you can do everything that you want to do as well. Let's change to, I don't know, let's try forestry service white, just so that we can kind of see here. Now I'm going to go back to 3D. Rotate around. I'm going to take some of the opacity off. Overlays the recognized trails for the forestry service. Pretty cool. Let's close this out. I'm just curious now. I'm going to go into my data and I'm going to find Red River Gorge. This is the map I maintain that has uh, as many trails that, that I have been on. And what we'll do is we'll come right back into the same area. This is the Glady Center, Bison Parking Way, uh, Parking Lot, Bison Way, uh, Indian Staircase, Frog Heads up in here. And I'm just going to turn 3D back on so that you can kind of zoom in. Just curious on how this layer looks because this is the layer that I use all the time. Okay, and I'm going to stack LiDAR back on it. Raise it up a bit. There we go. So now you can see all the trails and how they're laid out. This is Cloud Splitter over in this area, if you're, if you're familiar. The shortcut going up from the highway, the asphalt. Pretty cool. So check it out, CalTopo 3D.